Hello viewers, Miss Cal here. The purpose of this video is to see if we can uh, use the potassium permanganate glycerol reaction to expand graphite. Uh, I saw a video that Robert Murray Smith had posted um, and it was his attempt to copy a reaction that someone else had you know, described as a oh, secret source, not going to tell you how I did it. And uh, Robert didn't share either on what the contents of the uh, uh, or the ingredients on what the how the reaction was done so I'm just having a bit of an experiment here I'm going to show you first the reaction between permanganate and glycerol um, it'll also work for other sugars um, all right permanganate has um, the ability to stain everything it touches I remember when I was a kid and we had a science uh, book where we had to put samples of things into our book uh, so that we could, you know, leaf through the book and, you know, feel the sample of the thing. And I put permanganate in, glued permanganate into the pages of my book and it stained the entire book and came through the cardboard at the back ends of it. It was quite funny. My science teacher loved it. So that little bit of stuff on my finger there. If I don't wash it off quickly, it will stain my fingers brown. I need to do that before I start touching uh, the camera again, because it's a very bad, uh, very bad to mix oxidizers and cameras. So, <clears throat> wash my fingers, I can stop the video and I'll move back. Now this should burst into flames. So that little plastic cup there is going to burn up. It does take a bit to get going. Incidentally this reaction is used for uh, back burning, starting the fires. Um, they put the permanganate into a little um, uh, ping pong ball and then inject it with glycerol. It's a nice time delay so that um, you've got plenty of time to uh, charge the ignition device with uh, glycerol and then uh, throw it out the helicopter and start a line of back burning. So uh, this could take a little bit to get going. Maybe I'll give it a bit of a stir. It'll heat up first. starting to bubble. So the reaction is um, permanganate and glycerol. Glycerol is a sugar. Uh, the resultants of the chemical um, products are potassium carbonate, manganese oxide, and CO2 and water. It's starting to bubble. Okay, here it goes. It's sizzling. Lots of smoke. Should burst into flames in a minute. Oh, smells um, sugary. It's a lot of steam there. Looks like my reaction's done and I didn't get a flame. Uh, good chance that the heat was absorbed into that tile there and took away the energy that was going to make it ignite. <sighs> Got an ant coming along there looking for sugar. You can probably smell it. Looks like I've got a bit of carbon there. 
Interesting that the reaction doesn't mention carbon as a byproduct on the um, chemical reaction. Alright, so we'll have a play with adding um, graphite to that. Okay, it's starting to rain now, so we might get a bit of water on it. Uh, excuse the sound of raindrops on the tin shed. Um, I've mixed up graphite and permanganate and uh, added um, the glycerol to it. It's starting to bubble now, and that plate is, uh, that tile is quite warm, so um, it'll probably kick off a bit quicker and I expect we will have flames. Uh, see how it goes. I'll stop the video here and start it again when it uh, kicks off. Here's a close look at the product from the first reaction. You can see uh, it's quite carboniferous looking. How's that for a word? Carboniferous. Is that really a word? Here we go. So hopefully we get quite a bit of expansion from this. melted through the plastic again we've got that sugary smell we've side smokes coming towards me it smells like a firecracker and looks like the reaction's finished didn't get the same sort of expansion I saw in the Robert Murray Smith video there you go so we need to do more experiments. Any uh, any ideas? Make your comments down below. This one is permanganate and fructose. Fructose has a very low caramelisation point. So I thought I'd give that one a go. Um, it hasn't started yet, so I might just put a little bit of glycerol in there to kick it off. I actually heated it up to get it to start. Uh, looks like it needs a bit of heat to maintain the reaction. Had a nice little mountain in the middle there. Oh, what's happening there? Oh, here we go. Come on, keep going. Cool. There's no graphite in this. <laughs> Look at that. This is a good looking reaction. Again, fructose and permanganate. Don't know how much of that plastic is contributing to the fire.
I like that. Look at the resultant poo. So we'll gather the ashes from that and um, test the conductivity. It's quite amazing expansion actually. There was less than a teaspoon of um, fructose in there. Look at the amount of carbon.